Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a snapshot from Skylander's trap team. So we're going to start with the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're going to draw the brow line. So from the outside of the eye, we just want to curve down and then pull in the little frown line. So let's start from the top. We'll curve down. And from this point, we want to curve up the frown line. So just smoothly curving that up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to leave a little gap in the center. We're going to curve down. Now we're going to curve up and out above the right eye. Just curving out like that. From here, let's draw in a little bag underneath this, this curve here. So at the bottom of this curve, it's going to bend out towards the left. And at the bottom of this curve, we're going to bend out towards the right. Now let's tuck in the eyeballs underneath the brow. So at the top, we're going to step over towards the right so there's a little overlap. And curve out and then pull that right into that eye bag. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So curving out and then pulling that right underneath the eyelid. Let's go ahead and draw in some pupils. So at the top here of this curve, we'll curve down and in. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So starting at the top, curve, curve down and in. We're going to draw a little highlight at the top here. So right at the top side, we're just going to draw a little curve that goes up along there. On this side, we're going to come down and then up. Let's color the bottom part of the pupil in black. Now let's draw in the nose. So along the top here, between the two eyes, we're going to draw a curve from left to right. It goes across like this. From here, we want to curve down the sides and come in slightly. Now we're going to draw in the nostrils. So it's almost like two raindrops sort of aiming outwards this way. So on the left side, we're going to start the inside, curve out, round it out, and then pull that back into that point. We're going to color that in black. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the inside, Go out, curve around, and then back to the point. Color that in black. Now we're going to draw a little strip in between the eyes and the nose. So right in here, we're just going to curve in towards the top of the nose bridge. And we'll do the same thing on the right. From here, let's draw in the mouth. So we're going to start with the top of the mouth first. From left to right, just below the nose, we're going to draw a curve that goes across like this. From here, we're going to curve up the sides of the mouth, going up towards the eyes. So on the left, we'll go up. On the right, we'll go up. We want to draw a little bracket at the ends of the mouth. So up here, we just want to draw a little curve, just intersecting that line on the end of the mouth. From here, let's draw some fangs. So from this point where the turn goes up, we're going to draw a curve that comes down, and then curve that back up. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving down from that point, and then curving up. Let's draw on the bottom of the mouth. So just in here, we want to draw a curve that comes down to the bottom of the mouth and then back up on the right side. So just left of that thing, we're going to come down to the bottom of the mouth and we're going to curve back up towards the right side and just underneath the mouth there. From here, let's draw the fangs on the bottom of the mouth. So under here, we're just going to draw an upside down V. I'm going to do that twice. We're going to layer in a tongue in behind the fangs here. So right here on the side, we're going to go up and we'll curve down on the right side. Let's color the upper area in black. From here we're going to work our way around the top of the head. So on the side of this eye here on the left, we're going to go around the eye and then pull this in to right about there. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside this time, we're going to go up around the eye and then pull that into the side of the head. From here, let's draw on the top of the head. So from the top of these brows, we're going to curve up to a point in the center. Starting at the top of this brow, we'll curve up and we'll curve down on the right side. Let's get into the cheeks and the jaw. So just beside this point here, right where the brow goes into the eye, we're going to curve around the edge of the mouth and then back in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So curving out and then back into right about there. Now we're going to draw in the jaw. From this point, I want to curve down and inwards, down towards the lower jaw. So curving down like this on both sides. Now we want to blend in with the bottom of the jaw. So we're going to take those two points and connect them with a curve just below the bottom lip. We're going to cross like that. From here, let's layer in some horns. 
So he's got these two big sort of wavy horns on the top here, and then two curved ones on the side of the head. Let's start with the one on the left. So we're just going to start left of that point, and curve out, and then pull it up. So it's a nice little wave going there. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So we're just going to balance this out from left to right as we go. Two curves. Now we're going to pull these back in towards the brow line, but we're going to get a little bit wider as we get back towards the head. So starting at the point, we're going to widen out, curving down, right when we get to the brow. We'll do the same thing on the right. So curving down, and then pull that down right on top of the brow. On the side of the head here, we've got these two horns that curve out. So beside this left brow, we're going to curve up and out towards the left, and we're going to pull this back right in towards that jaw. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So curving up, and then we're going to curve and pull that right back in towards the jawline. Right in between the eyes here, I just want to connect these two brow lines with a curve just below it. So at the top, it's going to curve across like that. And to add a little bit more detail, he's got these two little strips that go up the, above the brow. So up here, we're going to curve up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now with the character's body, I'm just going to have him in a standing position holding his bow and his sword on one side with the arms down. So we're going to start with the giant shoulder armor that goes around his chest and shoulders. So starting on the left side, we're going to do a curve. Right from this jaw, or right from this cheek, we curve around and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So we just want to balance this out. So starting up here, we're going to leave that same amount of gap, go out, and then pull that into right about there. From this point, we want to angle down and out. Going outwards. Just like that. We're going to give a little bit of perspective to the shoulder armor so you can see the top edge of this. So from this point, I want to draw a short line going outwards, horizontally. Up in this point, we're going to do the same thing. Same length on both sides. We're going to connect those two points with a straight angled line. Now from that corner, I just want to pull this all the way back behind the head with that even space line going all the way around to the back. We'll do the same thing on this side. So from this corner, going straight out with a short line. From out here, we'll go straight out with a short line. Again, connect those two points with an angled line going down. Now we're going to circle around the head, starting from here, going around, and right in behind the head there. Now from these corners, you're going to see these pull back in behind, so it looks like the metal's turned this way. So from here, I'm just going to go up and just blend my way up to the top of that curve. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So from this corner, curve up and out, and just blend in with the top of that curve there. From here, I'm going to draw on the inside of the shoulder. So this metal is actually on top of the shoulder. So you can see a bit of the top of the shoulder here. So just below this point, we're going to curve out underneath the armor. So there's a little gap on the top edge there. From this point, I want to draw the little metal trap team emblem right here. So I'm going to start underneath the chin with a straight line, leaving a gap on both sides. I'm going to curve down the sides, so this basically looks like a giant T. Coming down like this, we're going to go across with two short lines. Now we're going to curve up and then in, leaving a gap in the center. Going up and pulling this down. Up and pulling this down to right about there. We're going to angle up, so that we're going to get to a little point at the bottom. So these two points are going to come down to a center point, like an arrow, just like that. Now from here, this emblem is actually on a strap that goes around the shoulder here. So from the tops of the T, I'm going to take this point and just curve to where the jaw meets the shoulder line. So up here, I'm just going to curve down and in. On the right, curve down, and in. Now from the bottom of the T here, we're going to curve out as well. So from here, I want to follow that same curve, going in behind the shoulder, behind the armor there on both sides. We're going to trim out the outside edge. So taking this line, just duplicating it, just below it on the top, and then on the bottom we'll do the same thing. So this is going to go in behind there. So we'll go behind the pad slightly and then along the bottom as well. Now from here I'm going to work my way down towards the waistline. Now the body is just really top heavy. It goes down to a very narrow hip. So just beside the shoulder pads right here on the sides, I'm going to start on that corner there and I'm going to pull this line coming in. On this corner, I'm going to come in as well. From here we're going to do a slight overlap and come in towards the waistline. So I'm going to step out slightly 
and curve in. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Now before I get into the legs, I want to get into drawing the arms. Let's start with the arm on the left. So this is the arm I'm going to have holding the sword. So from the shoulder, we're going to have the arm coming down this way in an angle. So on the side of the shoulder armor, we can start right up here and curve out and pull that back in. This is just a starting point for the top of the arm. Now we're going to surround the bottom edge right from here. We're going to go around, come down, and pull that into that point there. Now this is the top edge of the glove. From here, let's go to this corner. We're going to curve down towards the wrist line. So curving down like that. From here, I want to bump out the thumb, so it's this part here. So from here, I'm going to curve in like that. We're going to surround the grip of the sword. So he's holding it like this. We want to show the sword coming out this way. So from here, we're going to curve over towards the index finger. From here, now we're going to layer in the fingers in behind each other. From this point, we're going to curve up and in. So it's almost like the reverse of what we did with the thumb. We're going to come down on the finger here and just curve around again. So now it looks like the front finger is overlapping the back finger. We're going to do that one more time, but this one we're going to come all the way up to the side of the glove. Just coming up like that, just to blend it in. From here, let's get into the sword. Now I don't have a lot of room to add the sword, but I'm just going to make a very simplified version of it. So from the center of this curve, I'm going to come straight down, pulling the pen towards me with a straight line. From the corners of those fingers, I'm going to angle out. So it's spreading outwards this way. Now we're going to take those two points and come in towards a point, coming in. We're going to draw a little detail in the center here. So halfway between this point and that point, I'm going to come down with a short angle line. Same thing with this side. We're going to come down. Now we're going to take those two points and come in towards that center line, just for a little added detail. We're going to add some of the crystals coming out from here behind the hand. So from this finger to the sword, we're going to draw an angle line coming out. On the thumb side, we're going to do the same thing, so coming out. Now from here, I want to pull this in an angle right behind the main part of the sword. Do the same thing here. Now we're going to draw the back side. From this side here, we're going to go up, and we're going to follow that same center line in behind the hand. Do the same thing on this side. Going up in an angle, then right back there. We're going to draw a couple more crystals coming out in the opposite direction. So from this corner, we're going to go up. Do the same thing on the inside. Now from this point, I'm going to pull this in behind the hand. This side will pull that in behind the hand. Now we're going to do that same treatment we did here. We're going to take this corner, go out an angle, and then pull that right back in. Right here, we're going to go in an angle, and then pull that right back in. On the glove, I'm just going to draw a little band across the top edge. So from this curve, I'm going to step down and just surround it just on the outside. We're going to add a few little rivets on the inside as well. So up here, we'll draw a circle, draw two, we'll draw three, going on the inside there. Let's go to the arm on the right. We're going to do the exact same treatment. So with this upper arm, we're going to start down here and circle around, just the top part of the arm. Now we're going to surround it with that band, the upper part of the glove. So going around, and then tucking that back in behind the upper arm. We're going to come down on the inside part of the arm now. So from here, I'm going to curve down and in, so doing this thing. Now we're going to bump out the thumb, curve out like that. Now we're going to go into the words, the inside of the fingers. So right here from the thumb to the index finger, we're just going to go around in a curve, almost like a half circle. Take this point, circle up. For the first finger, we're going to come down, Go around for the second finger. Now the third finger is going to go all the way up to the side of the glove. Just going all the way up. Now let's do that little band here first before we get into the bow. Go around like this. Then we draw three rivets. One, two, three. Now we're going to draw a very simplified bow on this side. So from this point to that point, I'm just going to draw a straight line going across. We're going to draw a little square right in here. So coming down on both sides, and then going across, just to start this off. Now from this point, I want to curve out, curving out this way, and then we're going to pull it in the opposite direction, curving to the tip and the point of the bow. From that corner to that tip, we want to curve around and connect them, curving around like that. We're going to draw the back side. Now you're not going to see this part up here because it's blocked by the arm, but you will see this start to happen. So right here, we're going to curve up, we're going to curve back to 
from the tip of the bow and then pull this all the way back behind the hand there. Before I get into the legs, I want to add some detail to the shoulder armor. So he's got almost like these scales that go up the side here. So we're going to start with the trim first. Starting at the top, we're just going to come around and just trim and follow that same line on the outside edge. As we get towards the bottom, we're just going to blend this out. So it just vanishes off there. Let's do the same thing on the left side. Curving around. Coming down, just following that line to the corner. And now we're going to blend this out. Pull it into the side. To add the scales, we're just going to do a series of little curves, almost like ovals, half ovals. From this corner, we're going to go up and down. I'm going to draw three across here. Go up, down, up, down. Now from the center of those points, we want to connect them with an oval. So just bridging across like that. As we get to the end, we're just going to pull this to the side. Now up here, you just want to fill in the gaps from this corner to there. Just go up in an angle. And that's pretty good there. We're going to go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting up here, go up. We're going to try to fit in the same number of curves. So we'll add in three. Connecting the tops with a curve. Now again, from this point, we're going to curve and blend it out to the side. This side, we'll do the same thing. And then we'll continue this pattern going across and just closing the gaps off like that. Let's get into the legs now. So the hips going into the legs, he's got some really tiny legs. So we're going to step up here towards the hips and just draw on the thigh first. So curving down and curving down on the right. From here, we want to draw on the inner part of the leg. So right here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction. So the leg is basically that thick. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now we're reserving a large space in here for the tail that's going to come around the leg. So let's start with this left side first. So from here, we're going to step up, curve down towards the heel. We're going to come around and draw some claws. So from this point, we're going to curve across towards the left. From this point, we're just going to go up and then pull this down to the bottom of the foot. This is for the first claw. Now we're going to overlap some claws here. So up here, we go across in the straight line. And then again, we're going to pull this up and then down behind that first claw. We go up, going across, go up, and then again, we're tucking that in behind the front claw. At the top of this curve, we're going to pull this in behind the thigh. Just pulling it in like that. We're going to draw in some detail along the shin here. So up here, I'm just going to draw a little wave that goes across the foot. Up below the knee, I'm just going to curve down like this. Now we're going to add some little detail, a little band here. So we're just going to follow that same line, going across, just like we do with the wristband, and then we're going to add some rivets. Let's add three, going across like that. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing, starting with the inside edge. So doing an overlap, down to the heel. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the foot, going across to the first toe. From this point, we're going to go up and then pull that to the bottom of the foot. We're going to step up here, draw an angled line, now we're overlapping these claws in behind each other. Go out, up, and then down. Now from the top of that curve, we're going to curve to the top of the knee, just right here. So going across like that. We're going to draw that wave. So starting on the outside, it goes up above the claws, and then down, and then back towards the heel. We're going to draw that twice for that band, and then we'll draw in some rivets. Going across like that. At the top, just below the knee, we're going to draw a curve just to finish off that leg strap. Now let's finish this off with the tail. So the tail goes in between the legs and comes out to the side. So just on the thigh on the left, we're going to curve out underneath the right leg. We're going to continue this on the opposite side of the leg there. This is going to curve up. So you can imagine this going in towards the back. So it goes in like that. Along the tail, we've got some bumps. So I'm just going to draw Three little bumps going across. Now if you want, you can go in and add some scale work in the body here. So I'm just going to draw the center part first. So on the sides of the face here, I'm just going to start by drawing two curves in behind the shoulder strap. We're going to come down on the sides, coming around and in. In behind that emblem, we're going to connect those two points with a curve that goes behind the emblem. Going across like that. Now we're going to continue this pattern. So from here, to that rib, we're just going to come across like this. If you want, you can just extend that line of the rib. We'll connect those two points with a curve. 
Now we're going to come all the way down towards this waistline. So we're going to step in, curving down. So like this, connect those two points again with the curve. Now right here, I probably want to bring the legs up. We're going to pull this all the way up just to keep that separation between this scale work and the legs. In between the legs here, I'm going to curve across. Down here, I'm going to curve upward so it's starting to turn. And then down here, I'm just going to create a little separation in the tail. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Snapshot from Skylanders Trap Team. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.